Omran Shaban captured the dictator. His parents are proud and they miss him because Omran is dead now too. A year ago, their son, here in the brown leather jacket, was the one who found Colonel Gaddafi hiding in a drainage pipe. As a revolutionary hero, Amran posed with the gun he took from Gaddafi. His parents still have it at their house in Misrata, but their son died last month after being captured and tortured by men still loyal to their dead leader. At the same time, Abdulaziz Al Harous was tortured for about 60 days, he says, by Gaddafi's people, hung upside down, whipped, burnt, and given electric shocks. Abdulaziz says female nurses cut his ankles with scalpels and said it was the flesh of Misrata's rats. Both tortured men were held in the old regime's last refuge, Beni Wali, near Misrata. This week it's been under attack by fighters loyal to the new order. During the civil war last year, Beni Walid helped prosecute the siege of Misrata. Its defenders never cracked and now Misrata feels like a city-state. Tripoli Street was the centre of Misrata's war. Steadily, it's being rebuilt. Their Victory Museum is here, but winning the peace, unravelling Gaddafi's legacy, is taking time. Someone here told me that when Gaddafi was killed, Libya was like a bottle of cola that had been shaken for 42 years. When the top came off, everything overflowed. Certainly a lot of old grievances are still coming out. There have been armed clashes, people have been killed. But the civil war has not restarted. It could have been much worse. Back in Tripoli, Colonel Gaddafi's old leadership compound is being used as a rubbish dump. The power vacuum he left has been filled not by politicians, even though they've been democratically elected, but by tribes and armed men. These guard the new parliament as it struggles to form a functioning central government, but there are dozens of militias with their own agendas. I don't believe the situation will deteriorate dramatically. If it did, Libya could always go back to tribal rule, which solves problems easily. If Libya's Democrats can't start governing soon, the divisions in this country might overwhelm them. The traffic flows in Tripoli and so does hope, but time is not elastic. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, in Libya.